Hey everybody, how's going on? This is me, the ITKHQ. So Apple just hitted iOS 11 beta 4 to the developers and here I am taking a look at iOS 11 beta 4. So let's take a look at all the new ch changes and features found in beta 4. Starting off, we have uh, different icons for notes, reminders, as well as uh, the contacts application. The contact application has been changed quite a bit. Uh, the icon has been changed quite a bit now. So you kind of see both genders now, female and male. And also the reminders one is kind of inverted so the check boxes are now on the right hand side instead of the left hand side which is actually pretty weird. However, these are the three main uh, changes as far as icons are concerned. Next, let's take a look at this new kind of touch ID screen that you get if your device is locked and you are accessing um, you know, some notification. So uh, you also get the option of using the passcode. So if you don't use touch ID, then you have the option of using passcode as a backup as well. Uh, but then again, you can just simply use your touch ID and open and that particular application directly next we have the change uh, well next we have notifications and the notifications are now kind of returned back with the normal sort of behavior so if you swipe to the right hand side you get the option of opening if you tap on it, it also opens up notification and then if you swipe towards the left hand side you get the option of either viewing or like expanding that notification and then you can also close that application as well also if you swipe all the way right you can also open the notification like this as well um, next we have this slight kind of a, this animation or like this count and animation when you uh, turn on the screen recording app it's very subtle as you guys can see we have three two one and then it starts the screen recording which is actually pretty neat um, also in the control center we have this new low power mode animation as well so when you toggle it on you get this new animation where the battery kind of goes all the way to the full and then goes back to the 25 percent i believe right and next also we have this airdrop option under general so if you go to settings general you have airdrop and you get kind of the same features that you get or same set of settings as you get from the control panel as well the control center as well uh, guys that's pretty much it from this video so these are all the major changes in ios 11 beta 4 i hope you guys enjoyed it i will i'm now back i'm free so i'll make more videos on ios 11 and beta 5 and beta 6 make sure you guys subscribe and i'll talk to you guys all in my next video Bye-bye.